Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, September 24th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I nurture my inner child to harmonize and to understand. And today we have the moon in Cancer, still bringing on those feelings of comfort and still engaging the other cardinal signs. So we have the moon in Cancer engaging with Pluto today, engaging with Uranus today. So there we've got Capricorn, we've got Aries covered, and then happening in Libra, <laughs> the engagement with Libra is actually Lilith in Libra. So throughout the day we have these oppositions and squares going on, which is makes not exact but that energy of the Grand Cardinal Cross. So there is like this pull that is asking us to be stretched beyond our comfort zones. And I gotta show you, I gotta show you the cards that I have because <clears throat> it was the cards, excuse me, <clears throat> losing my voice. Uh, it's the cards that made the horoscope for me today. Like It's like, how many times do I need to be told this is what it's about? We've got the sun in Libra, bringing up relationships. And here we've got the dream. We've got integration and we've got friendliness. All of these cards, are dealing with the energy of relationship. But what came up through the actual astrological aspects, all of this pushing and stretching, is that it's so easy to focus on the other. It's so easy <clears throat> to see what's going on outside of ourselves. I hope I can get through the scope. <laughs> um, <clears throat> to see what's going on outside of ourselves and and be like, this, this is what's happening, this is what's going on, blah, 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 this. And the universe, and through all these major Libra lessons that we have going on, and through Venus now diving into Scorpio, is telling us the power, the understanding comes back here. I think the comfort zone that we're stretching is to stop pointing the finger at the other and being like, this is what's happening outside of me, and turn the finger around and be like, okay, how is this reflecting what's inside of me? And this is coming into the energy of the inner child. Here's the patience card, but I'm getting this is the energy of the inner child in this reading. Understanding, having um, compassion for what's going on. I think, honestly, the state of the world right now is really hard for all of our inner children. I think our inner children, which are, you know, the energy of peace and joy and harmony in and of themselves, are like, oh my god, the pressure, the energy is, how do we survive? And... We survive by not pointing the finger outside, but coming within and doing the inner work, diving into whatever needs to be looked at. So moon opposite Pluto. Pluto is finishing up its retrograde in Capricorn, the inner structure of things. How are you showing up for yourself as that parent? Are you giving yourself the love that you need or are you withholding the love that you need and trying desperately to give it out? I posted this meme a few weeks ago, but again, it's appropriate. You deserve the love that you're so desperately trying to give to everybody else. Restructure this momentum, this love momentum that we have with all this Libra energy going on, I would like you to restructure it back to yourself and put it on yourself. Don't look at the word patience so much as like the nurturing energy of this card um, or the energies of these cards instead of it being put on the other, being put on yourself restructure. The moon is then going to connect to Mercury, which is newly direct. Mercury's at 15, that's a six. So that's that degree of finding that balance. Um, and this balance, again, it's like it's coming back to you. I love that Mercury is direct in Virgo. Part of the self-love, part of this finding the balance is by, okay, what's going on with my body? What is my body saying about this? Let's Take a moment away from this and get in here. <clears throat> the moon's then going to connect to Lilith. Lilith and Libra. That is my Lilith placement. <laughs> um, and Lilith and Libra is the one who is able to pull back and be like, how can I be one unto myself? How can I empower myself? How can I love myself and nurture myself through this energy? This is happening at 17 degrees. That is an eight. That is the degree of showing up. That's that Capricorn energy. Like, how do I show up for myself? If you keep coming back into that today, you're going to not feel that stretch that the 
cardinal cross energies can bring, but rather you're going to feel like the expansion of yourself as you show up for yourself. The final aspect of the day is the moon squaring Uranus. So again, moon in Cancer, it wants to be comfortable. It wants to be taken care of. Ultimately, moon in Cancer wants this feeling. What's the feeling of being in the womb and having every need met? It's the feeling of meeting it for yourself first and then watching how the world matches your vibration. Um, so the moon in Cancer is squaring Uranus in Aries <laughs> and Uranus retrograde in Aries right now is like who are you really um, and you know one of these things that's coming up and this was an understanding that came up for me yesterday I think um, many of us are going through the lessons of unconditional love and what that really is and as I was thinking about unconditional love it immediately took me to the place of conditioned love which is what we're actually taught from the time we're very little and so unconditional love is when we get rid of the conditions like, oh, you can have that cookie if you, um, if you get an A or if you do this good thing or if I like your behavior. You know, I'm not shaming any parent who has done that because everybody has done that. We all have done that. But it's time to take the conditional love off of yourself and start here and be like, okay, my getting a cookie or my getting, you know, a delicious dinner or my, you know, having something good or nice in myself is not conditional on anything. I'm going to do it because I love myself. So let's move past that conditioning of conditional love <laughs> and hold that space for us just the way, you know, a mother does when she has a child in the womb. It's no like, oh, you get this broccoli because you are good tonight. No, it's she, the baby gets what it needs because that's what it needs. And so I encourage this level of harmonizing, this level of integrating, this level of releasing you holding the jewels back from yourself to integrate in and amongst yourself. And then watch what comes. I have to show you, I pulled a Louise Hay card for myself before today because I always pull one don't always, but I try to remember to pull one every day. And it's, I am a harmonious being. You are a harmonious being. Hold this intention and then harmonize with yourself. So, from the Universal Love deck. So, just to add a fourth card into the <laughs> energies. This is the Tantric Union card, but this card is not about the other. Tantric Union is a love affair with life, an awareness of the divinity within you, and the honoring of the sacred and divine within another from the place of first recognizing within you. It ignites an internal flame, a universal creative force that spirals up from deep within our being. So it's just telling you, recognize the divine within yourself. Be passionate about engaging with and connecting with the divine within yourself. And then from that place of treating yourself like you're a divine being, oh my God, watch what happens. But this is where the comfort zones are being, you know, stretched. If you're looking out there, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. Now I want to also mention that this love vibration, this relationship vibration, it's like strong right now as the sun can, gets closer to connecting to Jupiter. And so as we build into this, <laughs> there's probably going to be that pull because, you know, Libra is like, let me harmonize out here. There's going to be that pull. Keep turning that focus. Use that focus energy from Libra. Keep turning that focus within. From the Archangel Shemael, beginnings. Extraordinary new opportunity, opportunities are dawning for you, drawing new people, new places, new projects. Shamael wishes to lovingly assist you, and as anxiety often precedes change, asks you to call upon the might of the angels of Atlantis to help in order to arrive where you'd like to be. Before this fruitfully occurs, it may be appropriate for you to release old projects, old patterns of behavior, such as putting it on the other, um, old ideas or old acquaintances. See the new as a time to be met by the sun of the source with renewed vigor and well-being, just as you greet a new dawn. New day with hope, love, and joy. Chant Om Bhava Swaha, which is the beginning of the Gayatri Mantra, a really powerful mantra. So I'll say it one more time. Om Bur Bhava Swaha. It's harder for me to see it than to just say it. If I say it, it comes out automatically. New beginnings. And this new beginning starts in here. So release those comfort zones of that which inside you and become the nurturer of that which is inside you. That is it for today. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.